Hello everyone, welcome back to my uh, paladin uh, story quest thing uh, <laughs> in Maple Story. Uh, my name is Jackdaw. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we just finished the Ellen Forest storyline, and we got uh, the Ellen Forest Guardian badge, or the, not the badge, the medal, um, and then Athenia's ring. Uh, and I believe next we're going to go for, um, we're not doing Stellar Detectives, we already did that. Uh, I think we're going to do Mushroom Shrine Tales uh, and just go through this quest line. Uh, I want to save Silent Crusade for a little later just because there's uh, like a wide range of bosses you can do that are sort of level restricted, so... Dude, what is this background music? Alright, this already slaps. Okay. I have a younger sister who is sick. Okay, get them medicine. I don't know. Oh, you have a younger sister? Yes, her health has always been poor, so she mostly keeps on the inside of the shrine. But lately her health has worsened and just making it through the day has become a struggle. That's terrible. Can't you take her to a doctor? I'm afraid there's no medicine that can help her. She has a disease of the blood. All I can do is pray to the great Dai Darabochi for aid. My prayers went unanswered for so long, but a few days ago she finally spoke to me. She said my sister will become healthy again if I gather the five elements. The five elements? Yes, the five elements are pieces of the spirit of Zipangu. There are five in total, and each one is watched over by a guardian. Dai Darabochi uh, Dai said that I should start with the fire element, which is in the care of the raccoon yokai. They are one of many kinds of magical beings living in Zipangu. Please, will you help me collect the five elements for my sister? You will, thank you so much. The raccoon yokai live on Raccoon Hill in the spirit wilds. I leave it to you. Dude, I'm, I'm like super down with this. <laughs> this music, this is great. here something's not right I should look over there oh, let's go did I go in here the forest is ruined it's as though there is it's it's his thought there was a fierce battle here It's a raccoon yokai, but it seems to have collapsed. Did someone attack the raccoon yokai? Get rid of this. Um, this is Raccoon Hill, right? What happened here? Is human? Go away, human. Scary bad human leave. Calm down, what's going on here? I didn't come to fight you. Humans like you descend on our hill. Bad humans beat us and carry us away. They say we bad, bad yokai who ruin their fields is lie. Our people always live here. Aren't you bad ones for farming our land? Incomprehensible humans, selfish humans. We leave this place, sick, sick of living here next to thieving humans. 
I'm really sorry about your situation, but I didn't have anything to do with it. I'm here because Kino Konoko from the Mushroom Shrine asked me to find the fire element. What? You here to take more? You're same as bad humans. Selfish human. Greedy, greedy. This place is Raccoon Hilltop, not Human Hilltop. Humans get out. I, like, don't want to fight him now. Stop it. You're in no shape to fight. Ah, come at me, human. We not stand stand do nothing. Stay still. Let me treat your wounds. Stop. What are you doing, human? You different from other humans. Here, we don't need this anymore. Take it, human. But the other humans must punish. They torment us. Drove from home home. Oh man, part of me really wants to seek revenge. I'm gonna do it. Your people suffered today because you weren't strong enough. You need to get stronger or people will always pick on you. I'm getting dark side vibes from like Star Wars The Old Republic. That wasn't even that bad though. <laughs> Tradition says get tooth for tooth. Boonbuku makes uh, make humans pay pay. I make human shed tears of blood just like blood tears shed. Man. Holy shit. Can I not click on it? Wait, so did I get a... Doesn't make any sense. Takeno Kanoko. Oh, okay. Such a pity. Why do yokai and humans hurt each other? Why can't we all just be friends? Who are you? Hi, I'm Takeno Konoko, Kino Konoko's younger sister. I don't leave the shrine much. It's nice to meet you. You're Kino Konoko's little sister. I've heard a lot about you from my sister. I'm glad you're here trying to help me, but stopping this never-ending cycle of hate is way more important. I want to perform a ceremony to put the spirits of those who fell here to rest. Will you help me? What do you need me to do? First, will you burn this incense in the four stone lanterns around here? I will be waiting for you at Raccoon Hilltop. Okay. Place the incense. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. Your people suffered today because you weren't strong enough. Oh, that's so wild. Is it gonna... Come at me, human. We not stand, stand, do nothing. We leave this place sick, sick of living here next to thieving humans. The raccoons just saying, or the raccoon just going like, I want to shed the blood tears of. <laughs> Man, these guys are not messing around. Okay. Have you finished placing the incense? Ah, done placing the incense, then let's begin. Okay, I'll start the sending ceremony. That was amazing. Did I startle you? I'm sorry for not explaining. No, not at all. That was really wonderful. You're amazing. Was it wonderful? I just meant that the whole ceremony was beautiful and impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was really amazing. I'm in awe. 
it, it wasn't amazing. All I do is use my yokai power to calm vengeful spirits. Yokai power? Takeno Kanoko, does that mean you're our yokai? Well, I'm a half yokai, technically. Oh, I should explain that Kiwano and I are half sisters. But human and yokai blood doesn't mix. That's why I'm sick all the time. Some days I can't even go outside, but at least I can communicate with yokai and perform a few small tricks. But I'm not scary like the other yokai, right? No, not at all. I'm glad. Humans and yokai don't always get along, but I think that they should. There's so much we can achieve together. Just look at the ceremony you helped me perform. Do you think you could do something else for me? I feel like obligated. She seems like super nice. Even though I just told a yokai to shed blood tears. I want you to take this considered a gift from me. My father gave it to me, but I think it will be more uh, of more use to you. He said it has the power to control our ties to one another, so maybe it can bring yokai and humans together. The threads of fate hold power over the ties that bind the people of Zapangu to one another. Just look, here's you and me. If you click on the picture of my face, you can see how close we are. Once an hour, you can talk to me and give me a gift every day. And once we're super close, you can ask me to perform tasks or summon me. You can check the threads of fate at any time by clicking the Zapangu notifier on the left of the screen. I've never done this before, so uh, in all my years of playing, I've never done this before, so uh, this is completely new to me. I hope that you treasure it and put it to good use. Uh, thanks, I guess. Yeah, here I found the fire element. Thank you so much. Now we're one step closer to saving my sister. Those poor raccoon yokai. They said they're leaving their home in the spirit wilds. They claim that they were attacked by humans. I feel sorry for them. That's really sad, but the only yokai I've got time to worry about is my sister. Looking after her is tough, but she's my family. So I don't care if a thousand yokai disappear as long as Takeno gets better. I ran into your sister on my way here. She felt bad for the raccoon yokai. She performed a ceremony for their dead. My sister is a fool. I can't believe she's still cleaning up after them. She really believes that human and yokai can live together, even after... She just doesn't get it. We were kicked out of our village because it was constantly being harassed by yokai. We told them we had nothing to do with it, but they assumed that because my sister was part yokai, it was somehow our fault. In the end, we had no choice but to move to this remote shrine out of fear for our lives. When we moved here and my sister got sick, do you know what the yokai did for us? Absolutely nothing. They were happy to take advantage of her gifts, always asking her for help, but they never came when she needed it. Kino. Is she alright? It's that stupid yokai blood running through her veins. Takeno Kanoko is cursed. Cursed? What do you mean? Takeno Kanoko is half yokai, but the human and yokai parts of her aren't compatible. Just hit her in the back of the head. At first she's fine, but if she exerts herself even a little, her yokai blood wreaks havoc on her body. I will never understand what my mother was thinking, falling in love with a yokai. Hey, did you say that Takeno Kanoko performed a ceremony for the dead? Not only did she go outside, but she even called out her yokai power. What was she thinking? Why didn't you stop her? Now she's... I'm sorry, I didn't know. No. I don't need your apology. If you really care about Takeno Kanoko, then help me save her. I can't do this alone. Please, my sister. She's all I have left. Once upon a time, a land called Zapangu was discovered in Maple World. 
It was filled a dense forest of cherry blossoms, uh, of cherry blossom trees in a high mountain. For many years, the human and yokai lived together there and thrived. But there came a time of social upheaval and mankind lost respect for the natural world and the yokai that inhabited it. Many years later, a pair of sisters moved to the remote mushroom shrine. There was Kino Kanoko, who looked after the shrine, and her half-sister Takeno Kanoko, who had been sickly ever since her childhood. But Takeno's illness was not one that could be cured by human medicine, and so Kino could do little more than look after her sister and pray. Unite the five elements, and your wish will be granted. All right. I'm going to leave it right there. Damn, we got a lot got like a full level from just that one little section uh but we're gonna leave it right there we're gonna continue on this storyline uh in the next video uh, but if you caught this thank you for watching i would appreciate uh if you continued along this storyline with me uh this is the first time i'm seeing it personally which is awesome uh i don't know like it feels like it's going hard like they actually like put time and care into this but um you know that remains to be seen we still haven't gotten to the end of it so um, until next time, thank you for watching. If you can, leave a like down below. Uh, and, you know, this background music is pretty good. Uh, comment below what your favorite background music of, in uh, MapleStory is. Uh, this one's fire. Uh, I also like, you know, the like Empress Cygnus. That one's pretty cool, too. But, uh, but yeah, uh, until next time, I'll see you later.